What's up, everybody? Matt Gajeski here, back with the Odd Shopper channel, ahead of UFC 274. Two title fights on the line, and we have three bets for you. We're going to give you one favorite, one underdog, and one prop bet ahead of tonight's action. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the video, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all other content goes live. We're also brought to you today by BetMGM, and they have a special offer for you guys. If you make a $10 wager on any pregame money line in one of these NBA games, and then if either team in the game hits a three-point shot, you're going to turn a $10 wager into $200. So you can, take, you can take advantage of this by going to the description of the video, then use the promo code OSMMA, and you're going to turn that $10 into $200. So make sure to check out BetMGM, and we'll be doing just that, looking at the spread of bets available to us right now. And we're going to start with our favorite. It's a very interesting card overall, but I think we actually have a lot of value on the title fights. And the favorite I particularly like is Rose Nama Yunus minus 225. I grabbed this minus 190 really early in the week. It's kind of fluctuated back and forth between 210 and 225, but still comfortable with it here. I think there's a lot of value on the champ. This is a rematch. Rose Nama Yunus versus Carla Esparza. These two fought way back in 2014. But... Unfortunately, it did not go Rose's way. She gets to get some revenge here and defend her title overall. And I like Rose because of the evolution in her game since that first matchup. We know what Carla Esparza is going to do. She's a wrestler. She's going to try to take Rose Namajunas down, maybe ground and pound or submit her. And I want to focus on Rose's growth as a grappler, not just as a wrestler, but in her jujitsu as well. I think if the fight goes to the mat, Rose is more than capable of, of getting back to her feet or hanging with Esparza on the ground. When we look at some of her recent performances, Rose Namunas did get taken down by Zhang Wei Li five times, but she also defended six other takedown attempts. There were 11 attempts by Zhang Wei Li. She landed five of them, and she was only able to control Rose for three minutes and 37 seconds. When we look at control time, Rose actually reversed position and then controlled Zhang Wei Li for seven minutes in this bout. So Rose more than capable of not only defending some takedowns, but getting back to her feet or reversing position, something she did very well against Zhang Wei Li in her second fight. We also saw this against Jessica Andraj. When we saw Andraj try to bring the fight to the ground, she wasn't able to. She only landed one of three takedowns in that second bout with 29 seconds of control time. So again, Rose doesn't always want the fight to get to the ground, but if it happens to, she's good at getting back to her feet. She's good at reversing position. And she's now equipped to handle what Esparza brings to her. And when it's on the feet, there is a drastic advantage towards Nama Yunus. So I'm comfortable laying the juice here and sticking with Rose Nama Yunus, minus 225. For the underdog pick, unfortunately, we couldn't get Justin Gagey at the plus 145 odds yesterday. There was a mishap at the weigh-ins. Charles Oliveira misses weight by a half a pound. There was the mishap with the scale. But ultimately, we get Gaethje plus 115 here. I still think that's fine. We can talk some props after this with Gaethje. But when we look at this, it's kind of similar to Rose, where Oliveira has a stark advantage on the ground. He's not the best wrestler, but his jiu-jitsu is phenomenal. I do think there is kind of a neutral wrestling component to this. Gaethje was a wrestler in college himself, and he's defended takedowns well recently. When we look at his most recent bout against Michael Chandler, Chandler was only able to grab one of six takedowns, and he controlled Gagey for all of three seconds. Gagey is good at getting back to his feet. He has enough wrestling prowess in his game where he can definitely try to get back up or reverse position on Chandler. Both these guys, strong wrestlers. We know Gagey has the college pedigree, even though he doesn't use it a ton. When it's on the feet, Gagey, he has the power and he has the skill in the striking. With Chandler, we've seen him rocked numerous times. We've seen him knocked out recently. So that is a concern durability-wise with Chandler as well. A lot of advantages to Gagey here, especially with the striking. And I think the defensive wrestling will be a strength of his. I think if you're worried about the plus 115 odds, you could also look at some props with Gagey. Overall, looking at KO makes the most sense to me. It's plus 165 here. Gagey by KO or submission plus 150. I'd rather just grab the 165. But ultimately, comfortable rocking Gagey plus 115. For the prop bet, it's not going to be in one of the championship fights. We're going to go to Melissa Gatto versus Tracy Cortez. This is an interesting lower-level female fight, but I think we could look to method of victory here. Melissa Gatto by TKO, KO, or submission, plus 350. I grabbed this at plus 400 early in the week. A couple reasons why. 
Gato has multiple paths to victory by stoppage. She's eight wins, zero losses in her career, two knockouts, four submissions. That means she's only had two fights go to decision that she's won. Good power, and she's a black belt in BJJ. That gives her solid submission skills. And recently, we saw her step up in competition, and she knocked out Sajara Eubanks. I think that is pretty important here. Victoria Leonardo, you can say what you want about her, but I think the step up in competition to Eubanks does make us a little more comfortable with Gato as a slight underdog. Now, when we look at Tracy Cortez, she's 9-1, and one, and she hasn't faced the best competition. She has three UFC fights against Justine Kish, Stephanie Edgar, Vanessa Mello. Only one of those fighters is still in the UFC, so the 9-1 and one record looks solid, but I do have some questions about level of competition with Cortez. She has one loss on her profile, and how did that come? It came via submission, and that's going to be an issue against Melissa Gatto if this hits the mat. So I like Gatto by stoppage. I think it's solid value here at plus 350, even though it might not be the most likely outcome. The odds are just too wide. If you wanted to parlay this, it is plus 1,297. So a $50 bet would pay out nearly $700. I think that's worth sprinkling on as well. But that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section what bets you guys love for UFC 274. My name is Matt Kajeski. I'm on Twitter at Matt underscore Kajeski. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.